Hey everybody from the Trucker Jukebox Pooh Bear Jay Brake and Panda. We want to wish everybody on the Trucker Rudy show and his subscribers a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We'll see you in 2017. God bless you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now in Brooks, Alberta. Yeah, we got about 170 kilometers left to do yet today before we uh, get to our uh, delivery place. But uh, hey, we had our 10 hour break in uh, Madison Hat, or basically in Red Cliff there. That's just on the outskirt of uh, Madison Hat. But, but yeah, here we are. Looks like another cool day out here today, but at least it's not windy too much this morning. It doesn't feel that way anyway, so. And I'm looking over there at the uh, meat plant there. They got all kinds of steam coming off of that building. But that's the uh, slaughterhouse here for uh, Brooks, Alberta. Yeah. That's where a lot of meat comes from. It's basically a big slaughterhouse, that's what it is. But yeah, it's always giving off a good smell here, that's for sure. When that wind comes the right way across the highway, ooh, that's a terrible smell. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Looks like we got a Either cattle or pig or something coming here to the slaughterhouse right now as we speak. Yeah, look at that. Yep, that's for sure. Uh, JBS Canada Brooks Alberta. That's what that company I believe is called. I thought it was Maple Leaf, Maple Leaf owing it, but yeah, well, maybe it's some different company. But anyways, we're just continue cruising uh, along here towards our delivery place. Yep, I don't know if I can make my second delivery in Edmonton on time today. That's uh, going to be a tight one there, so we'll find out. We'll find out if we can do it or not. But in the meanwhile, we'll continue on cruising along here. And show you as much as we can today here we are going to Strathmore Alberta yes indeed we're only about a half an hour 45 minutes away from our delivery right now as we speak and yeah so far it's going good Got a little bit of a husky truck stop here to the right and uh, that's just about it. We'll be through this town here in a minute or two, as soon as we got a green light. But yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be at our delivery here. It looks like in about 45 minutes. So, got 54 kilometers to go, and then we'll be at our delivery place already. So, yeah, so far it's going good. It really is. Well, yeah. anyways, I figured I'd show you a little bit on uh, what we're still up to and where we're at and all that good stuff. And looks like the sun is trying to show up over there, but it's not really very good yet. Still a little bit of clouds in the sky, so... But yeah, we'll be... Uh, be making our delivery here before you know it and then uh, we'll uh, continue on to our Edmonton delivery right here we are in Calgary area right now we are uh, only about six kilometers away from our uh, delivery place and I you know this is a totally new area so I haven't really taken this particular road but 
hey I don't know if the camera is gonna be able to capture it but straight ahead of there you can see the mountains up there in BC yes indeed you can speed warning I don't even know what the speed limit is up here you're already saying speed warning all right well then I guess we'll slower down well up there it says 70 so I don't know why you were screaming at me while I was going 60 I guess he thought it was 50 speed limit here for a bit but all of these are new roads so it's kind of a little new for me and also new for RJ I guess but yeah we're almost at our customer that's for sure so we'll get out of here and then we'll find our customer and See how happy they are to see us today. Yeah, guys, we have just gotten unloaded and now we're back on the Stony Trail 201 North around Calgary. Hammer down, hammer down to Edmonton. We had about three hours worth of driving to do and, well, we had three hours and 15 minutes to do it in before apparently they closed. So, uh, however, I do need to fuel up so I don't know how that's going to run into uh, my situation because, uh, well, I do need fuel, especially when it's really cold up here. So I can't be without fuel. And if I fuel up here, that's probably going to put me right around the time that they close at their customer. And if I don't fuel, then I kind of have to go way out of my way to go get fuel. I have to basically go all the way to the east side of Edmonton to get fuel and then go all the way back through Edmonton to uh, go to my <laughs> to my other delivery, you know? So I don't know what we're going to do, but I think I'm going to go ahead and give the customer a call and see what they will tell me. Yeah, we'll find out here in a minute or two. See if that's just something that they wrote in my satellite or if that's an actual thing that they close at 3 in the afternoon. I find that to be fairly early. I don't quite believe that they're closing that early, but we'll see. We'll find out. All right, guys, we have just gotten unloaded here at the customer. Now we got to find our way out of here. Although I don't think that's going to be too hard, but uh, hey. It's snowing a little tiny tiny bit every once in a while I gotta have my wipers on I guess but uh, yeah we'll get out of here we got 466 kilometers to go to our next delivery place which I am kind of planning on being there tonight yeah listen to me here eh? that's what I am planning on doing hoping I can uh, hoping I can get there tonight and I know it's going to be a late night drive but uh, that's all right we'll make our pickup uh, delivery I mean I almost said pickup here but <laughs> yeah I want to uh, get back onto the main highway up here so that way I'm not running these back roads here yeah I just like to stick around on the bigger road so that way I know I'm on a legal truck route and all of that good stuff. So we got a Tim Hortons over there. Do you guys see that? Yeah, I can't go there though. Nope. No way. We're just going to go get back onto the uh, Highway 2 I believe it is. Now we'll take Highway 2 up to 216 and get out of town as they say so that's hammer down i have now made it to my town of delivery yeah it's still dark out here but if you look i gotta deliver just down the road from there yeah i know you ain't gonna be seeing anything but this is kind of my truck stop where i'm parked at <laughs> basically side by side with another truck here kind of on a side of a side road here but whatever the husky was full over there and I went over there to the customer and uh, they have a gate ahead of 
their you know they have a fence around their property and they got a gate there so I can't get access to there either so I had to find me a parking spot so we parked here and had a good night's sleep and now it's actually the next morning yeah we're just getting our day started kind of and I figured I should finish my show for yesterday and I guess for today when you watch it but uh, but yeah we, uh, had us a good night's sleep it's another cold one out here for sure but uh, hey we're uh, we're happy we're uh, only like half a mile down the road from our delivery and so we'll go deliver that here in a little bit and then uh, we'll wait for further instructions we still haven't gotten anything so we'll see we'll see what happens but appreciate you guys watching so stick around for tomorrow we got another one coming have a go on this has been trucker rudy signing out behind